guys! So today's video is going to be a tag video. I absolutely love filming tag videos. They're so much fun and also it's a great way for you guys to get to know me a lot better. So today's tag is called Get Your Freak On 15 Weird Facts Tag. I've been seeing this tag going around here a lot on YouTube so I decided to film it myself. So I tag everyone who's watching this and if you guys have filmed this video, please post it as a video response down below. And if you guys aren't into filming videos or anything, please copy and paste the questions. I'll be um, posting the questions down below in the description box and you guys can post them in the comments down below. So let's get into this tag. Alright, so question number one is what's a nickname only your family calls you? So there are a few, um, but when I was like a baby, probably up to like maybe three or four years old, um, my family, like my mom, my dad, and my cousin would call me Ashley Ashley Appleton. I have no idea why. My name is Ashley, so I get like Ashley Ashley because it's, you know, cute and like a baby name and stuff. Um, but I have no idea why they called me Ashley Ashley Appleton. I'm guessing I loved apples. Um, but yeah, they don't really call me anymore since I am 20 now. Um, but my cousin will like kind of like remind me it like that was my child name um, but now my dad will call me Nikki for short because my middle name is Nicole and um, sometimes like my family will call me like Ash or Ashley and stuff like that but that's pretty much it and of course like if I'm like in trouble my mom would either like yell Ashley or Ashley Nicole Okay, so question number two is what's a weird habit of yours? So I have a few. The first one is whether I'm drinking juice, milk, chocolate milk, whatever it is, um, and it's in a cup, I always leave a little tiny bit. I have no idea why. I've been doing this probably since I was in junior high, and I get made fun of so much for it. Like, my family makes fun of me, like, a lot, and my ex, Ryan, used to make fun of me for it. I don't know why I do it. It's just, like, a habit of mine. I have to do it. Um, yeah, so that's one of them. And also, another thing that kind of goes with it whenever like I'm home like I always have to drink something like if it's like in you know like if it's juice or like green tea or something like it comes in like a like a container or whatever and I pour it into a cup it always has to be like a coffee mug I don't know why but for some reason it's always in a coffee mug my mom always asks me why and I don't know that's just what I always grab I don't grab a glass or anything it always has to be in a coffee mug and the next thing is also is I eat one thing at a time it's probably not so weird because I think some people do it but I eat one thing at, at a time I've been doing that also when I, since I was like in junior high um, but yeah all of this stuff kind of happened around the same time uh, I never was really like this like when I was like younger but it just has happened since I was like in seventh grade um, but yeah I eat one thing at a time when I was like in Colorado visiting my dad and went to like this Italian restaurant and I think I ordered like chicken marsala or something and it comes with like potatoes and the chicken and stuff and I ate the potatoes first and the, like the waitress thought something was like wrong with my food because I ate things one at a time so it was a little weird kind of embarrassing um, but that's how I am I don't know why but yeah I, I eat one thing at a time and I go and I save like the best thing for last on my plate so those are just a few weird habits of mine okay so question number three is do you have any weird phobias yes of course I do the first one would have to be snakes I am terrified of snakes I hate hate snakes all right, I'm going to tell you guys something story. I'm probably going to get made fun of it, but whenever, like, my mom is watching a show because she is, like, a huge, like, nature freak. She loves going outside. She loves hiking. She loves doing all of that, like, crazy stuff. And she, like, watches shows, and there's, like, snakes on it, like, the big, creepy ones that I just... Uh, I find disgusting and like if I see it I like get creeped out and I have like a feeling like it's in my house or something I don't know why my sister also feels that way so I know it's a little strange but I just hate hate snakes I hate thinking about them like when I was at my ex's house one time um, like a gardener snake a little tiny gardener snake freaked me out like I jumped like it scared me and yeah I know it's not gonna hurt me or anything but I hate hate the th thought of snakes, hate seeing them. Like my mom hikes and stuff and I go hiking with her and stuff to like get in shape and everything and she's always out on the lookout for snakes. I freak out like if I'm gonna see one, especially like rattlesnakes and stuff. Yeah, just the thought of it creeps me out. Like I went when I was I think junior high um, for like community service with like my sister and um, one of my best friends and um, I canceled like um, 10 girls with this other girl and we went on a hike and we were like walking we were like fifth or sixth grader with fifth and sixth graders and they did not freak out when they saw a snake and me and this girl we were like juniors in high school and we like freaked out like that's cra how crazy it is um another thing is i'm a little afraid of death just the thought of it and stuff like that um but yeah those are pretty much just a few of my weird phobias all right question number four is what's a song you secretly love to blast and belt out loud when you're alone? Well, there are a few. The first one is I Love You Like a Love Song, 
from Selena Gomez, and then also Super Bass from Nicki Minaj, and also um, Eeny Meeny from Justin Bieber and Sean Kingston. Song number one. Song number two. This one is for the boys in the boomer system. Tap down AC with the coolest system. When you come in the club, you'll be blazing up. Got a stack on deck like he's saving up. He is, he will, he might got a dick. He pop bottles and he got the right kind of bed. He cold, he dope, he might sell cars. He always in the air, but he never flies. So he ain't motherfucker drip chest, still on the ship. When you make a drip check, kiss him, look up. That's kind of deep. I was at the far. And yes, to get stopped if you look at home. I said, excuse me, you're a hell of a guy. I mean, more on my feel like pulling your fly. I mean, you're so shy and I love when you're tired. You're like thicker than a guy with a ring on his eye. Uh, yes, I did. Yes, I did. Somebody please tell me who the F.I. is. I am Nicki Minaj and my boobs up. That boobs up. Chuck, do so. Song number three. She's indecisive. She can't decide. She keeps on looking. From left to right, a girl come back closer. Look in my eyes. I'm so wrong. I'm just the wrong. My time. Cause I'm in love, I'm gonna leave them and disappear right after the song. So give me the night to show you and hold you. Dancing alone. You can't make up your mind, 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 mind. Please don't waste my time, 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 time. Rewind, wind, 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 wind. I wish our hearts would come together as one. Shawty is an eeny, meeny, money mo lover. 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 Missing paradise. Question number five is biggest pet peeve. So my number one pet peeve would have to be liars. I hate liars. I hate when someone lies to me. I'd rather you just tell me the straight up truth. Even if it's going to hurt my feelings, I'd rather someone tell me the truth than lie to me. And especially me finding out from someone else, that's also number one pet peeve of mine. I'd rather you just tell me the straight up truth and just be honest with me. And num another thing, um, another pet peeve that I really don't like is crazy drivers, like people who don't know how to drive. Like it's crazy and I don't know, it just kind of gets on my nerves and stuff. It's one of like my biggest pet peeves also. Um, so yeah, I think I'm gonna be doing like a whole um, video about pet peeves. So if you guys like that idea, definitely let me know in the comments down below. Question number six is what's one of your nervous habits? All right, one of my nervous habits would have to be cracking my knuckles. It's just like a habit in general, but I also do it when like I'm nervous, like whether I'm like starting a new job or like I'm presenting something, like I always crack my knuckles. And also another thing, like if I have to get like in front of people, cause I hate getting in front of people, um, I like kind of like sweat a little bit and like I shake my leg and stuff like that Those are like a few of like my weird habits and then also I get like really really quiet So if I'm really really quiet, it's definitely telling you that I'm nervous All right question number seven is what side of the bed do you sleep on? So I start off with sleeping on my right side of my bed But then when I wake up in the middle of the night or when I wake up um, I like end up either in the middle of my bed or I end up on the left side of my bed. I sleep all over the place, so I'm like a really crazy sleeper. Question number eight is first stuffed animal and its name. So I think my first stuffed animal was like a stuffed bear and I don't even remember the name. Um, I'm sure my mom probably still has it um, like packed away somewhere because she keeps all of that stuff. But I don't know its name. I know that's probably bad. Um, but yeah, I just know that it was a stuffed bear. Question number nine is, what's the drink you always order at Starbucks? So whenever I go to Starbucks, my order always changes. I never get the exact same drink all the time. Like I always change it up. So the drink choices would probably be caramel frappuccino or vanilla bean frappuccino. And then also when it's like colder out, I get like um, a white chocolate mocha. 
Question number 10 is what's the beauty rule you preach but never actually practice? So there are two. Um, the first one I would have to say is probably one that I I'll always tell people. I even tell myself, but sometimes I don't even do it, is probably going to bed with makeup on. Um, I have done it a few times. There are just times when I'm just so, so tired from, from whatever I'm doing that day, and I just want to go to sleep. And um, it is not good to sleep with your makeup on. I tell that. I know I think I probably mentioned um, in some of my videos, and I even tell like my sister and everyone, like my mom and everything, Thing. Um, but I have done it before um, I haven't done it in a while but it's so bad you whenever I do sometimes I do break out from it and yeah you don't want to do that and another thing um, that I do say is you always want to put a heat protector on your hair when you curl it straighten it blow dry it and at times Probably 90% of the time I don't use a heat protector on my hair. I know it's so bad and that's probably why my hair sometimes is damaged, not um, as damaged anymore, but it used to be. But yeah, definitely you need to use a heat protector and I know at times I don't. <laughs> Question number 11 is, which way do you face in the shower? I'm sure a lot of people face the same exact way. I'm sure everyone out there probably faces the same exact way. But I face my back to the um, water um, pretty much 90% of the time. But then when I do wash my face and like my body and stuff, like my front side, um, I face um, the water. Question number 12 is, do you have any weird body skills? No, I don't believe I have any weird body skills at all. <laughs> Question number 13 is what's your favorite comfort food um, that's bad but you love to eat it anyways? I would have to say any fast food. I'm like obsessed with fast food. I work at a fast food place myself, so it's really bad for me. But I would have to say fast food is probably like my comfort food. I would eat it pretty much every single day if I could. Um, so yeah, I would definitely say any fast food place um, that's like my comfort food. Number 14 is what's a phrase or explanation you always say? There are a couple. Um, one of the things I always say, whether it's in text message or in person, I always say, yep, yep. I don't know why I've been saying that since I was like in high school. Uh, I get made fun of that a lot. And then also now I've been um, saying, so yeah, I don't know why. I say like with one of my um, guy friends from work, we always say that whether we're texting, we always say it at work also. Um, so yeah, I mean, it gets the conversation started. <laughs> Okay, so last question, question number 15 is time to sleep. What are you actually wearing? So it kind of depends on um, like the weather and stuff. So if it's like really, really hot out, um, I either sleep in like shorts and a tank top. And if it's like super, super cold, like in the winter and time and stuff, I pretty much just sleep in pajama bottoms, like plaid pajama bottoms or sweats. Um, a long sleeve or just like a band shirt or like a short sleeve and then also sometimes a sweatshirt but I don't sleep with a sweatshirt that has a hood just because it's very uncomfortable for me um, so yeah that's pretty much what I sleep in so I hope you guys enjoy this tag I tag everyone who is watching this um, but yeah I will see you guys in the next video bye guys